All right, what is up you guys? My name is Giovanni and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys on how to assemble PTFE AN hoses and fittings. So PTFE hoses differ from regular rubber hoses in the fact that they have this Teflon liner in the center of them. On this hand, I have a Dash 10 regular AN hose and in this hand, I have a Teflon PTFE hose. You can see the difference as this hose right here just has that black rubber inner core. This one right here has this Teflon inner core. The main difference on how you assemble these is all in this fitting right here. As you can see, everything looks the same as a regular AN fitting. However, there is this one little extra piece right here. It's this little silver piece and that actually goes around the Teflon lining inside the hose. The benefits of using PTFE AN hose is that it's way more resistant to corrosion than the regular rubber hoses. You'll find a lot of PTFE hoses in E85 setups where the ethanol content in the gasoline can actually wear out the rubber hoses a lot quicker and cause more leaks. Now as you can see this is a piece of scrap hose that's already been cut. It's a little bit deformed. The best way to get started on this is to have a nice clean cut on the hose. Now if you're cheap like me you probably didn't spend any money buying any fancy tools to cut these hoses and you were probably barely able to afford the hose and the fittings themselves because this stuff is a little bit expensive. So the way I found that works best is to cut these guys with the good old angle grinder. Now I found that it's best to use a vice when you can, however you can do this when you're at the car itself. You'll just need something to hold the hose down like a pair of vice grips or something similar. Basically what I do is I get my hose, I wrap it in some electrical tape about an inch down and you're going to want to make sure you wrap it nice and tight just like that. You're going to press it down in the vise but don't squeeze too hard and you're just going to cut the very end of it with the angle grinder. And as you can see, I have some extra strings right here. I'm just going to cut those with a pair of scissors. So the next thing you're going to want to do while you still have the electrical tape on is disconnect this bottom portion right here. Take it and slide it over. You're going to want to twist it on there. It's going to be a little bit tight because of the electrical tape, but now that it's on, it's nice and secure. So that's what it looks like once we've cut it with the angle grinder. It's a nice, perfect circle. So we're going to get our little bushing here, and we're going to gently put it around the Teflon tube. You're going to want to remove any extra electrical tape because that's going to limit how far you can push this little bushing back in. All right, now that the tape's removed, you can go ahead and start pushing this bushing in by hand. Be very careful because there is some stainless steel wire in here. You don't want to slip and poke yourself on that wire. You will cut yourself. It's very sharp and it hurts really bad. Just ask me how I know. Just keep pushing it on until it feels like it's not going to go on anymore. You can also just grab it and kind of push it against the hard surface. It's going to help you push it on a little bit more snug. All right. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the Teflon hose is maxed out inside the bushing. That's when you know you can stop. The next step is actually pushing this fitting into this hose with the bushing on. This is probably the hardest part. This is the part where you're going to have the most difficulties getting it on. If you can't get the fitting in, it helps to get a pair of needle nose pliers and put them in there and kind of squeeze around as that will push the Teflon out of the way to make room for the fitting. Sometimes this step is extremely difficult because of how tough the Teflon lining is. But just keep going at it with a pair of needle nose pliers and kind of massaging the Teflon out of the way. And if you're still having a hard time going in dry, you could just spray a little lube right on the tip. Yeah, that's nice. And by now you probably wish you could just throw this thing at the wall and just give up, take it to a shop and have them do it for you. But don't worry guys, just hang in there, just keep massaging with those pliers. If you have to, take it off. Put the fitting back in, massage it a little bit. Just like your girlfriend, it takes a little bit of patience, but after a while, you should just be able to get this fitting right in there. Keep trying and eventually you'll get it on there. So the next thing you wanna do is just tighten it down really tight with a pair of aluminum AN wrenches. Or if you're too cheap like me, you could just get yourself a couple of crescent wrenches and wrap them up in electrical tape. However, you are probably gonna scratch the black coating on these, but I don't really care. So you're just gonna get it real nice and tight. And once they're real nice and snug, that's all you have to do. You're done. Just repeat the same process on the other side and you got yourself a PTFE AN hose. 
And that's it guys, you've now made a perfect solid PTFE hose. PTFE hoses are definitely a lot harder to make than regular rubber AN hoses, but the benefits of them being way more corrosion resistant makes it well worth it. And these PTFE hoses are not that much more expensive than regular AN rubber hoses. But that's it for today's video guys. Be sure to leave me a like. If you enjoy this and want to see more, subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you guys next time.